Hi there, you're watching ITTV, the gateway to great and fun education. So, in the previous lessons, we have learned about the heart and the blood vessel. So today, we begin a new lesson, which is pathway of the blood circulation in the human body. So students, do you still remember about the heart? Have you forgotten about the blood vessel? Well, you need both the knowledge of the heart and the blood vessel to learn about today's lesson, which is the pathway of blood in the human body. The human circulatory system is called a double circulatory system. This is because the blood in the body is pumped twice through the heart. So what do they mean by twice? Blood collects from all our extremities to the heart. It is then pumped by the heart to the lungs, from the lungs back again to the heart, and the second pumping takes place and the blood flows to our body. As simple as that. That's why they call it two times or double circulatory system. The human circulatory system can be divided into two parts. Firstly, the pulmonary circulation goes from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. The systemic circulation goes from the heart to all parts of the body except the lungs and back to the heart. So, so the human circulatory system actually have got two types of circulation. Firstly, the systemic circulation, which is the greater circulation, and next, the pulmonary circulation, which is the lesser circulation. Firstly, let's have a look at the pulmonary circulation, which is the lesser circulation. The pulmonary circulation starts with the heart. From the heart, the blood actually flows to the lungs. From the lungs, blood then flows back to the heart. So remember students, heart, lungs and back to the heart. And this is the pulmonary circulation or the lesser circulation. What about the greater circulation which is the systemic circulation? The systemic circulation begins with the heart like the pulmonary circulation but from the heart, blood gets pumped to all parts of the body except the lungs. From all parts of the body, we get blood back to the heart. So remember, from the heart to all parts of the body except the lungs and back to the heart again, just like in the pulmonary circulation. Now the pulmonary circulation and the greater circulation, which is the systemic circulation, differs. It all starts in the heart. So shall we have a look, students, at what actually happens in this organ called the heart? Deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body except the lungs is carried by the vena cover to the right atrium of the heart. Now, to understand this better, let's have a look at the diagram. What did it say? Blood collects from the superior vena cover and the inferior vena cover all the deoxygenated blood from our extremities, head and so on, comes to the right atrium. After that, what happens? When the right atrium is full, the muscles contract. Blood is forced into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. So we have, so we have fully collected blood in the right atrium. When the right atrium contracts, the blood actually flows to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Okay, so what happens next? The right ventricles then contracts, the valve closes and deoxygenated blood is pushed out through the pulmonary artery and carried to the lungs. Now, these may seem confused, but it's actually simple students. Have a look at the diagram full of blood in the right ventricle. So what happens next? Contraction, of course. Once these contracts, this tricuspid valve has to shut itself. Then the blood won't flow back to the right atrium, but flows into the pulmonary artery going to the lungs. So here we have the